Hello folks and welcome to episode 5. Uh, in this episode I'm going to put a, a CTI motor together, uh, obviously with the exception of putting the igniter in it because that would just be dang dangerous. Um, so at the top there you can see the motor tubing, uh, then the motor itself below that and then the delay adjustment tool. Cool. So um, let's put it together. Okay, so here you can see the high power reloadable rocket motor tube. Uh, that's a three grain tube, but it's got two adapters in it, so you can have one grain, two grain, or three grain. Obviously, the motor I'm using is a two grain, uh, which you can see here. Um, it's the white uh, version. I've also got a skid mark version as well. Um, so, as you can see, you've got the three um, sections there on the motor. The one on the left is the uh, newtons per second rating of the motor. The G is obviously the size. Uh, 68 is the average thrust um, the motor produces throughout its thrust curve. And then the, the 13 is for the delay. Um, so 13 is a bit much for my rocket. So I wanted between sort of 7 8 seconds, either of those will do. Uh, so here is the delay adjustment tool. And as you can see there, it's got uh, numerous different settings. Um, so you can take off 3 seconds, 5 seconds, 7 seconds, 9 seconds. Uh, and that on the right is the ring, uh, the centering ring. So you make sure you're drilling in the right place. I um, took the motor out of the cardboard tubing. Uh, it's in this nice plastic bag here. I then removed uh, the contents. And here is the actual motor unit itself. Uh, the yellow bit is the nozzle cap. And then on the right is the uh, delay section. Uh, so I took that out, and as you can see, I said on minus 5, so it's 13 second delay. I wanted 8 seconds. Take 5 off of 13, and you got 8. Um, so fairly self explanatory. And then the next picture shows the centering ring uh, in the delay adjustment tool, and I've uh, drilled it out in a, a safe place and disposed of the black powder, uh, put it in water, etc. Uh, so now that's taken 5 seconds off of the delay, so now I should be looking at an 8 second delay, which I'm guessing is going to mean the parachute's going to come out just slightly after Apogee, uh, but that's fine. The next picture shows the delay uh, module back into the motor itself. Uh, that's on the left-hand side, and then the right-hand side is the nozzle. I then put the motor back into the motor casing, uh, obviously without the nozzle protector on and uh, the top left you can see one of the spacer units there uh, so I've got one of those out uh, as this is only a two grain so one's left in there uh, to provide the adequate uh, spacing uh, after that was all in I uh, tightened and screwed everything up and as you can see there it is looking pretty mean uh, so that's going to get quite hot at some point in the uh, not too distant future uh, the next picture shows the motor assembly now all together with the nozzle protector cap on the right hand side there um, just to keep everything protected and after that I put it into the business end of my rocket uh, sliding it right up the uh, motor retainer tube and uh, then put the uh, rings back on, uh, the motor retainer screw back on uh, and then the cap on after that, uh, which will hold the igniter in place and, as I say, protects the nozzle. Uh, so that was about it, really, and, uh, yeah, pretty simple process. Okay, so there it is, the business end of my rocket, ready to hit the sky. Oh, yeah. So all I've got to do is put an igniter in it and she'll go. Obviously, uh, as I said earlier, I'm not putting that in until uh, she is absolutely ready to go in the field. And, yeah, get some decent footage. And obviously the big aim, trying to get some footage filmed from my FPV platform of the launch. And maybe if we're super lucky, some of the recovery as well. The weather's been a bit rubbish uh, here. So I've got to wait for a gap in that uh, before I can go out and get the big one, the main event. So that's it for episode 5 and I hope you stay tuned and uh, look forward to the big event just as much as I am. Cheers.